Next Electric Motors NX2 The Spain-based Next Electric Motors offers one of the most capable electric scooters on the European market. The NX2 is a two-person model that features a 10-kilowatt mid-drive electric motor with a belt transmission. With the peak output measured at 15 kilowatts, the NX2 is capable of reaching the highway speed of 80 miles per hour. To give you more control on the road, the two-wheeler was equipped with a powerful hydraulic disc brake setup with ABS. The manufacturer estimates that a full charge of a non-removable 120 amp-hour battery will let you cover up to 125 miles. Luckily, the NX2 supports public stations with Type 2 connectors, which are significantly faster than all available home charging options. This e-scooter tips the scales at 260 pounds and offers such standard equipment, a full LED lighting setup, a TFT information display, cruise control, a digital security key, and under-the-seat storage. If you're a fan of retro-designed scooters, Next Electric Motors Company also has a beautiful model called the Mojito. Compared to its European and Asian counterparts, the American EV market is severely lacking representation in the segment of seated electric scooters. In order to change the situation and get ahead of other manufacturers that are planning to enter the U.S. market, CSC Motorcycles announced their 2024 ES5 scooter. Developed as a convenient tool for getting around the city, the CSC ES5 has a traditional step-through frame design, a long seat cushion with room for two persons, a robust suspension setup, disc brakes with CBS, and aluminum wheels with tubeless tires. This 238-pound machine is powered by a mid-drive electric motor with 5 kilowatts of continuous and 8 kilowatts of peak output. When combined with a 5.58 kilowatt-hour battery setup, it can generate 177 pound-feet of torque and let you ride at speeds up to 52 miles per hour. The battery setup is represented by a set of three 60-volt and 31-amp-hour lithium-ion battery packs. The battery packs are removable for your charging convenience and can grant you an estimated riding range of 68 miles with an average speed of 31 miles per hour. The remaining battery range as well as other performance metrics could be tracked with the help of a colorful TFT instrument display. Moreover, the scooter's standard configuration includes a keyless start system, LED lamps, Bluetooth audio playback, driving recorder, and a USB interface for your gadgets. Gavares Motor Light Compact city scooters belong on the list of the most popular forms of urban transport both in Asia and Europe. A new company called Gavares Motor is trying to enter this market with an innovative product. It's an e-scooter that features a modular design. This means that riders would be able to adapt this two-wheeler to their daily tasks, be it a daily commuter with a passenger or carrying delivery boxes or groceries with the help of additional racks or cargo boxes that are available for purchase directly from the company. Moreover, Gavares Motor supports the modules developed by third parties, thus giving you even more customization options. Speaking of the available hardware, you get to pick between either a 3 or 5.5 kilowatt motor. The scooter was developed to support batteries of different types, thus enabling you to use swapping networks available in your region. With two batteries installed, you can expect up to 100 miles of riding autonomy with 60 mile per hour top speed capabilities. Pink Mobility Fly Pink Mobility is a France-based distributor of battery electric mobility vehicles with its own assembly line, battery repair facility, and a powerful after-sales service network. The Fly is the most powerful e-scooter model that the company currently has on offer. It's described as a zero-emission alternative to the 125cc scooter class. The Fly is equipped with a set of 14-inch wheels, has a two-person capacity, and is propelled by a 7-kilowatt rear hub motor with three performance settings – Eco, Comfort, and Sport. In the Eco mode, the top speed is limited to 43 miles per hour, 
while the Sport Mode unleashes the 80 mph per hour potential. To satisfy your daily commuting needs, the model can be equipped with a backrest and a top box for your gear. The Fly weighs 434 pounds with an installed 72-volt, 93-amp-hour battery pack. It offers up to 90 miles of eco-riding, while the Sport Mode limits the range to 60 miles. The UK-based Zap is trying to tap into the growing personal mobility market with their new i300 model. This sit-down scooter has a comfortable step-through design with a chromoly steel frame, a single-sided swing arm, and an exoskeleton seat structure. The two-wheeler is offered in four versions, Ocean, Bio, Carbon, and Launch Editions. Base models get composite bodywork that is completed using no-oven, no-autoclave technology. But if you're a fan of carbon fiber, top-of-the-line models use this material. The creators of the i300 scooter introduced as many modular components as possible. You get interchangeable front fenders, interchangeable seats, and modular options for the under-seat storage box. The drivetrain system joins efforts of a permanent magnet electric motor, rated for 14 kilowatts and 62.69 pound-feet of torque, and two battery packs hidden within the scooter's floor. These are removable and are good for 60 mile per hour speeds and 37 miles of riding. Due to the scooter's sporty credentials, it received a high performance braking setup with four piston radial mounted calipers, full floating discs, and dual channel ABS. At the same time, the smooth and comfortable riding experience is ensured by preload adjustable front forks and pushrod coilover suspension in the rear. Nowadays, many manufacturers are using unconventional designs and bright color schemes to highlight the sporty nature of their products. And we have to admit that not only does the South Korean WePad company support this trend, they're taking this trend even further. Over the past years, this manufacturer managed to bring almost a dozen of flashy electric stand-up scooters capable of reaching speeds beyond 50 miles per hour. Such speed parameters are both terrifying and fun, so they could only be enjoyed by professional riders. This fact could have prompted WePad to develop a relatively safer model with a proper seat. Described as a fusion between a scooter and a mini motorcycle, the new Sonic Expander is powered by an 8-kilowatt hub motor. When hooked up to a 100.8-volt, 100-amp-hour battery pack, this two-wheeler is granted with 100-mile-per-hour speed capabilities. In order to safely endure such speeds, this WePad model received 20-inch tubeless tires, dual Brembo disc brakes, as well as an e-brake system. As for the suspension, there is a single oil shock absorber in the front and a dual shock setup in the rear. Ather Energy 450 Apex this year, one of India's most successful manufacturers of e-scooters is rolling out the much-awaited update to the Ather Energy 450 scooter. Named the Apex, this newcomer brings more premium features and class-leading connectivity while retaining the affordable price tag. The scooter's 7-kilowatt motor with a belt drive ensures a zippy initial acceleration to 25 miles per hour in a mere 2.9 seconds, while the top speed capabilities are estimated at 60 miles per hour. The motor draws its energy from a lithium-ion battery pack with a 3.7 kilowatt-hour capacity. One full charge is reportedly equal to 98 miles of riding and could be fully replenished from a home outlet in less than six hours. When using the public station, one minute of charging could add up to one mile of range. The standard equipment of this 246-pound scooter includes a suspension setup with telescopic forks and a rear monoshock a CBS with Regen feature, and an Android-driven operating system that shows up on the 7-inch TFT touchscreen. Cruiser C1 Pro X Cruiser C1 Pro X is a brand-new city-oriented scooter with an unconventional design. 
Unlike other models in its class, it has a minimal amount of plastic cladding and an exposed tubular frame with a black glossy paint finish. Despite the minimalist design approach, the model features a comfortable leather seat with a stitched rhombus pattern and a backrest. The power comes from a rear hub electric motor with three performance settings and a 72-volt, 117-amp-hour battery pack. The highest setting will reportedly bring the 85-mile-per-hour top speed and a 180-mile range autonomy. In the standard configuration, you're getting a full suspension setup, front and rear hydraulic disc brakes, adjustable handlebars, a set of running lights, and three built-in speakers with music playback through Bluetooth. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time!